So welcome to our first uh, webinar for uh, not the first workshop of the year, but the first uh, official uh, webinar uh, for uh, this uh, school year. So creative uh, December ideas. So this is our team, Yay. the famous uh, RECI ESL team. So uh, Martin Tremblay and Diane. I don't know if Diane is here, but uh, uh, they are. Uh, they both uh, work mostly for the uh, secondary uh, clientele, but we both do, you know, we all do, uh, but they are, you know, uh, um, yeah, they're the specialists of the uh, of high school. And uh, I'm Sandra Lane. I work for WC since 2006. Uh, uh, it's been a while. Yes, And I'm here with, uh, yeah. <laughs> and Nadia, I, I don't know if you want to uh, present yourself. Uh, hi. I, I'm more at the elementary level, but, but by being at the RC, I have to, you know, I do secondary stuff and I love everything. So great yeah. to be here. Very happy to be uh, seeing you now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. So let's let's, let's continue. <laughs> so uh, today, the intention is simple. We want to inspire you to transform your uh, any your your an activity your activities. There's a mistake there. So we changed it. Uh, I'm going to change seconds. it right away. I'm sorry. <laughs> to transform your activities that you're already doing uh, using technology. Okay. So we're going to present some ideas, and you can inspire inspire yourselves uh, with that. And but first, as you can see here, uh, I don't know if you see you've seen these uh, icons here on the right. Uh, these relate to the dimensions of the. Uh, um, uh, digital framework, so uh, they are related to creative uh, use of technology I, and uh, use of information and then these icons uh, re reflect what we are doing in terms of uh, digital competency. And if you don't know about it, we, you, we can tell you about it another time. So um, before we start, we'd like to know a bit who you who is here and uh, we have a question for you. So we would like you to click on that link that Sandra probably put in the chat just now. And we would like you to uh, answer the question, two questions, very simple. Uh, I will start it, but the way to join it is either by e entering wooclap.com. It's a quiz tool, super easy to use for teachers. And the name of this quiz is Creative December. Yay, we love that. So when you're ready, I will start it and we will, I would like to know who you, who's here, just so we know who we're talking to. So are you elementary regular, elementary intensive, CJEP consultant, who you know there's Carolyn for sure. Okay. Okay. Other, other, hmm, curious. Hmm, maybe there's a category I should add there. If the person wants to write it in the chat, that would be interesting. Sorry, ladies, I didn't scroll down and I didn't put pet consultant. I put the top four. Sorry. <laughs> I'm messing with your statistics. Oh, no. We have to redo it. No, no. OK, so we have 12 out of 14 who have answered. Amy is writing in the chat. Let's see what she says. Then we have adult ed. Adult ed. OK. OK. So thank you for this. But now that other question is to get you started on activities. So let's, I'd like to know what is your typical December activity with students? Just, you know, type of activity. I'm not, I'm hiding it for now. You know, what type of activity do you do, you know, and you know that you're going to do in December with your students? Activity, LES, uh, moment. Hmm. Ellen, Ellen, ESL, I mean, on loan of service with the MEC. Ah, hi, Amy. Okay. So, we do we have a few answers? We have four, five, okay. Are we ready to show them or do I give you time? Seven. Yeah. Singing carols, okay, songs. Oh, you're new. We like that. Welcome. We'll be giving you ideas. Acting out a Christmas story. Oh. Writing cards, movies, us. We like seeing those. 
advent calendar. I hope you saw the one that we just uh, we 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 have for you. Okay, so hope you're enjoying it so far. That day one is really Chris, you know, hot December stuff. Stories with hot. Oh, lovely. Okay, so thank you, Christmas around the world, reading stories, watching movies, acting. Okay, so these are all excellent Christmas cards with gifts of doing things for others. Ah, so that could be a mix of two things, Sandra. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we'll be going on into the activities that we have. And uh, you can keep writing. I'm leaving it open. So if you want to continue writing, that's okay. Uh, because later, if we have time, I, we can go back on them. Okay. So here so is... Let's start. Yeah. So I don't know if you already saw our creative stations. We already presented them uh, at the last speak. And I've, we've been presenting them, uh, I think, uh, at La Cops and in different school boards, uh, uh, service centers. Sorry. <laughs> so Nadia, if you want to click on the link uh, below. Uh, it will lead you to our website and on our website, you will have access to the two documents. So you have different creative stations uh, if you're using computers or creative stations if you're using iPads. So basically the, the, the intentions of those uh, creative stations is to take a story, so read a story and ask students to demonstrate their understanding in different tasks using technology. So what we did is we inspired ourselves with these different stations, uh, create, uh, creative stations, and uh, you will see how we adapted those activities into Christmas activities that you can do with students. Okay, but you could reuse those activities with stories or uh, short stories. And I see that there's someone for Constellation. So uh, maybe you could uh, have some ideas uh, to propose uh, or teacher to, to propose teachers with that. So Nadia, maybe a short word about uh, before they start. So basically what we're showing you today is of course uh, ways to integrate technology. So once you have prepared your students, you've done uh, work with them before and then they're ready to do the creative stations that we'll be showing you. So, so before you start, you should consider that the, uh, the task that you're sharing is authentic and meaningful, especially for Christmas. It's a great moment, moment <laughs> of a great time of year for that. You make sure it's appropriate to student level. The learning intentions are clear. This is all not new, but just remember that they should be dealt with or uh, worked with before they start using the creative stations success criteria, and then you have to consider the experience or prior knowledge of the student in terms of text type that you're, they're going to do, in terms of language they will use, and the digital tool that you choose for them to do to use. Okay, so all this should be considered before you start uh, the, the activity, but when you do start the activity, Sandra will tell you about the first activities. So the first activity would be to design a postcard. So uh, for the first activity, maybe Nadia, you can show them how it works. So if you click on the um, this the, the first image, you will have access to the, the, the task, okay? So when you click on it, you have the first one, it's written for computer, uh, thank you. So this one is for computer, okay? And the second slide is if you're using an iPad, these are the tools that we're suggesting you could use, okay? So if you go back to the first one, uh, you also we also included templates that you can use so you can share with students. So the first one is in Google. This, the second one is a template for PowerPoint. So it's a template that you adapt to your needs. So you change the background, you add your own picture, you can add a video and they write their message and they can be shared after. So this is the easy part, but if you can, you can use any, you can use Canva, you can use Poster My Wall, you could use, you know, so many tools uh, to create uh, uh, different postcards. The thing that will change, so for example, you can reuse this, but just so you know, we talked about intention. So if you don't want to do a postcard, but you want to do a poster, you only need to change, you know, what is the activity 
the intention will change and only the preparation part will change. The rest of the activity will be the same. So this is what we did with our creative stations. We changed the title of the activity, but the tool will remain the same, you know, change the title, we, we change the intention and the way we will prepare students will change depending on what we're creating and how we will prepare students to do the task. Okay, so that's how we've designed those activities. I, I do want to make sure that everyone is following here. <laughs> is that okay? Good. You can use your thumbs up. The, uh, maybe one thing yeah. I could add is this is Thank like it, this is taken uh, by the way it exists in French as well so if French teachers yeah. use them as well like they're a bit different but so if you know you your French uh, uh, colleagues could do it in French and then you do the same type of express card that's how we kind of call them yeah. call them because you can take them express. and yeah. share it with students so that they can take the instructions and follow them but the preparation will be done before. And, but this is for the, you know, the creation part where they actually take the technology and use it in order to create something uh, with the, according to what the intention was at the beginning. So, uh, okay. and the, at the top, you have the title, you have the intention that can be changed to whatever you uh, you need to do with your students. Okay. So let's show them an example. So we won't talk about each cards, you know, so we wanted to show you how they work. So an example here, we included the first example. So this is a, a postcard that was created with the Google slide. OK, so you can include a video that starts automatically. Uh, you can look for images directly in the, the research tool. The same thing in PowerPoint and you know, you they just need to understand the features of what is a postcard. So they write their message and it can be sent, but it can also be, you know, if you want, you know, you have secret sentence, they could send a postcard to someone in the classroom. So this could become uh, an activity. This is with the PowerPoint and slides, but you could use at the bottom. We have included poster my wall and you have postcard templates that you can use and adapt to your own. So you just need to click on one design that you want. Um, so you, you switched, but uh, yeah, <laughs> the link was, go, yeah. was to postcards, but uh, yeah, that's it. So, and you can adapt according to what you want. So this is the first idea. I don't know if you have any questions. It's a simple one, but it changes, you know, it, it, it brings out the, the, the creation aspect of, of students. Second idea, if you, let us know if you have anything you want to comment, you want to add anything. Um, let us know. Second activity would be, you know, a favorite holiday activity collage. So the idea was to create a top five holiday activity uh, that they could talk about. So they could use their poster and they could have a discussion after to present their activities and, you know, and inspire the others. But it could also be a collage. You know, if you have younger ones, you have cycle one, they don't know yet how to write, but you could have the vocabulary words on the on the board, you know, Christmas, uh, uh, how you 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 can, um, uh, what you want to wish, and you could, they could reuse the vocabulary and select the pictures that they want and they could create their own collage. Someone who has a, is it their kitchen? So uh, <laughs> if you can that just, was, yeah. Yeah, there's a few with this. Mic yeah. on. So just just on. make sure your your mic uh, mics are off, please. So that's it. And again, you can use poster my wall. You can use Canva. You can use uh, pic collage if you're with iPads. I don't know if you're familiar with these tools, but they're very, very easy to use. So second idea. One one thing, look at the title here design a poster of your this is like the other one and uh, the other activities that we had created in general and we hijack the activities and then when we click on it then you see the christmas one so yeah. this one is really about the top five uh, holiday activities they are just for christmas but you can oh sandra maybe we should show them uh, don't forget that you can take these download them and, and adapt them to your needs anytime you just make a copy and keep it uh, and adapt it to your students level and needs okay 
and you can also download it in PowerPoint. So this here is a create an animated Christmas story. So this is a bit maybe a, a, a bit more time consuming, but if you are using Scratch with students, uh, it is a nice uh, way to, um, to, to integrate coding with, uh, uh, with students. There is a, this is an example here that we found uh, in Scratch. So if you click, there's an example of a Christmas story. And if you, you, you know Scratch, you can uh, use it and look inside and have them change the stories or start from Scratch, depending on what you want to do. We like the word Scratch and Scratch. So uh, here, so you have create an animated story, a Christmas story. And if you're ever interested, we do have in Campus Récit, which is our online uh, course platform at Récit, the Récit, there is one called Premier Pas avec Scratch pour tous. So if you're interested in taking an online course about Scratch, this would be a good start. You just create an account and uh, with your teacher's uh, address and you start learning. <laughs> That's great. So um, can I so, can I add something? You know, yeah. Scratch, uh, Nadia tells it's a bit time consuming. Yes, but at the same time, it's it's really uh, a step by step tutorials that are guiding you through uh creating in scratch so it's really it's really uh, it's not that complex and you don't have to do create uh big stories it could be only one animation it could be a christmas wish or something like that and we've done it with uh, you know with cycle one students with scratch uh, junior on ipads and they're able to uh you know they're able to 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 code okay could it count on our professional formation? Yes, if you do any uh, professional uh, activities on campus CC, you receive at the end some badge with a number of hours that uh, you did. So it counts on your professional development, of course. So that's a good that's good news. Yes, it is good news. <laughs> and, and here and also today today you yes. you you will be receiving a badge if you go on campus CC and it counts also on professional with for professional development okay so now here uh, what we added here at the beginning is tutorials uh, for scratch and vocabulary resource sheet and also two tutorials on how to make uh, things that are specific uh, to uh, stories, making stories on Scratch, okay? So you have those to help you get started. So if you're interested, this is what's extra in this activity related to the Christmas story um, here. So this one is an easy one and it's really share a wish through an avatar. Uh, Voki is a very easy tool. And you know, sometimes we know some tools and we've been to, you know, we started using a tool, but then we kind of forgot about it. Uh, it I, I just started, I did this one here and I found it cute and I enjoyed doing it myself. So I can imagine students would enjoy doing it. This I is a fun filled holiday season with your family and friends. Super easy but you can send that super easily as a link to uh, anyone that you'd like to share this wish with. And you know, that avatar is, you know, it's, it's cute, different. So, so this is a way to make a wish through an avatar. Very, again, what changes is the preparation. How, and you can remember in the preparation phase, you don't always need the technology. Sometimes you don't have access to the technology. All, you know, you, or not whenever you want, you know, so you prepare with pen paper and then you have them pr practice with their partners before they do it and, uh, and using the technology. And then when you, they go on the technology, you give them a time limit or you give them templates so that it's clear and simple and uh, not too uh, time consuming. So just little tricks. So, uh, so that's it. So that's an idea, super simple one. I'll let you talk about this one. Yeah, our last idea. We have so many, but we've decided to do a 30 minute and just to inspire you. I don't know if you know Book Creator. So it's a great online tool. And uh, there's also a, a paid version on the iPads. And um, so if you want to retell events of a comic strip, a comic strip, a comic story in a comic strip, or simply create a Christmas story that can be shared. Could it could be done collaboratively? You know, 
uh, in a classroom, you could do a Christmas story as a, and it can be sent home also uh, before they leave for the holidays. So this is a, a great tool that can be used. And uh, at the bottom, I've prepared a list, you know, Epic, the tool Epic. It's a website that you can uh, read stories. So I created a list of uh, Christmas stories that you can uh, read to students. So you can reuse this list if you want. And um, if you go back, uh, Nadia, there's a link. I found also a website where you have um, uh, Christmas stories for uh, high school students. So you have different links there. So um, let's say the little match girl. So if you click on it, I knew you would like it. <laughs> And you have the, the, the stories there that you can use. So this is uh, great. So you can reuse the stories. And uh, even if you're, you're not creating with them, you can read stories with students. I think it's a, it's a good month to do that. So, uh, and I, there's a comment from Nancy. Uh, Pixton is an easy website to create an avatar. Yes, of course. Uh, Pixton, uh, is it Pixton? I think it's Pixton, huh? That is a great website. So yes, there are so many tools out, out there, but usually what we do is we select the ones that are easy to use with students, that provides free accounts to teachers. And usually that students will need to provide their personal information, you know? So that's why we often uh, come back with the same tools, but that's what we are looking for when we're looking for tools because you know that the information are not based here. So less we give information, better it is for students, okay? So that's why we, we select those tools. So, and the students, if once they've used the tool once, uh, you know, or a few times, the, the aspect of trying everything out and every, you know, is not there as much, so they can focus more on the tasks. Yeah, so so there's different reasons and yes, uh, free resources that uh, come back often, but because they are, you know, they are can be used on multi devices, you know, there's different reasons, but thank you for that uh, suggestions. It's something we have shared in the past. So we it's 424. So now there's the, uh, you know, Sandra was talking about the choice of uh, what we share. Uh, the reason one of the reasons is we need to choose things that are easily shareable. Uh, by students and teachers. So, um, so, so the idea of sharing is in our choice of tools. This here, this slide is just to remind you of ways to share because when you plan to use technology, you have to think about the sharing aspect of it. So you have to plan for it. So of course we have the, you know, the basic email, which is always, uh, you know, if they create a card, they can send the link to their parents. You know, remember, we want it to be authentic. And, you know, so if they can share it with some a loved one, uh, it makes it authentic to them. So QR codes make it easy to share the uh, by the, the the express activities that we have. You can share them by QR codes. You can share uh, any activity with a QR code. Collaborative documents. Well, basically, it's to put all the... Um, the elements or the, you know, the stories or the picture books or uh, the comic strips or whatever students have created into one document or for the student to create something. You know, sometimes we just don't need that other tool that has the, all those fancy things by using those uh, basic uh, tools. It makes it easy for students to uh, to get organized. So Google Docs. Uh, is very nice to create stories uh, uh, and PowerPoint is exactly the same. Google Sites is something that you would use to put, uh, to include a lot of uh, the presentations or into the Google Sites so that other people can access them, you know, so people would be able to see them. And it's the same thing with Sway in Microsoft. And there's also the platforms, La Digital, which is new. I don't know if you know that. Uh, it is a great new tool that is in French for teachers. Uh, it's in French, but in English as well. But it's free, and teachers can create a lot of different types of activities. This is a digipad, a digipad and it looks like a Padlet. So, uh, and it's easy. Nadia, 
yes. Nadia, I created one. Yay, I, I was <laughs> while you were talking. Yes, you were talking. Go back okay. and refresh your page. We're right. like that. We get inspired okay. and we do things. Uh, I created the Digipad. And after I'm going to answer uh, Lucas's question. So if you want to try out some activities and you want to share them with us, maybe not the creations of students or or if they do something very nice, if you want to share it, uh, there's a link of our uh, Is it there, Sandra, you there? there. Share your creations here. At oh, the, okay. at the... <laughs> here. So you click there and this is the pad. It looks like Padlet. So you just click on add and you add a title, a text, and you can add a, a, a file there or a link. So it's very, uh, very easy to use. So if ever you want to share something with us, it, it's always fun to have a, uh, to receive creations. OK. Um, and it, it appears. And if you want to write message, you know, send us messages, you can do that, too. Yeah. So I have a question. We have a couple of minutes left. Uh, Lucas has, has a question about where, how do we share those activities? So what we will do, uh, Lucas, is we will provide the QR codes for each activities, OK? Uh -huh. So it will be sent out. Uh, we will add them directly in our presentations, OK? So don't, uh, we forgot to do those. So it's a, it's a good thing. So if uh, you don't have iPads, you know, and to scan the QR codes, uh, what we will do, you yes we could um, you could share the links uh, through Teams uh, through a, a digipad like that or something you know uh, somewhere that the students have access to that they could click on the link so you well, simply this is what it looks like yeah, so that's in it. the original document so we will provide you uh, we will give an extra page in the presentation where you can print uh this page or maybe a document that will be linked if you want to uh print those qr codes am i clear with my explanation sometimes i talk with my hands but it's clear in my mind you know <laughs> so is it clear uh, lucas okay thank you so nadia maybe uh, just a quick word how to get your badge for this uh, quick presentation do you it want goes fast huh? <laughs> OK, so this is us. OK, so you can join us if you'd like to. And our two websites on the right here, the Domaine des Langues, but also Réseau Pédago Numérique. And um, this is here a participation badge. This is what you would you will be getting. And uh, when you click, normally you would go on this page here. But look, I included a direct link. Of course, that direct link will only work if you actually enter your Campus Rissi account because it has to recognize who you are. And then once you have clicked on the link, so see here, I will log in. I already have an account, so I would log in and it brings me to that page and uh, you want long Anglais Langue Seconde, and you click on this and you will get it automatically. This one here. Okay, so you get a 30 minute uh, PD uh, time and uh, that's it. So I think, do you have any questions? It goes fast at huh? 30 minutes, but we thought that you have so many things to do that a 30 minute is a good, uh, you know, is, is a good format. So you have, are, are you questions? inspired? Yep. Yes. The recording will be deposited on the website. We have a new section. I don't know if you know about that new section. We will put it there, but we also have a webinar section. So we will post it there. So it will be available to you. The only thing is the document to keep the link. It, we will update it, so it will update in the back. You know, we said we would add the QR code, so just keep the link of the document, bookmark it, do it and uh, go back to it. The QR codes will be there if you want to use them. Great, thank you. Yes, it's a teaser. Huh? We could have done, you know, a, 
uh, we could have do a we could have done a hands on uh, you know workshop with that and have you create something, but after that, uh, I think your students will have fun with it. <laughs>